One of the questions which I get quite often is about venting height. Venting height simply means how far the keys are away from the tone holes or the chimneys that they need to activate or work with. So, simply put, there's no specific answer, uh, but there are some general guidelines. And the reason I say there's no specific answer is without knowing the individual player, the mouthpiece they use, the reed setup, the resistance they like, and the tuning that they're working at, whether it's A440, 442, 443, it's difficult to give absolutes. But what we do in the factory is we have determined that the majority of players who are using our equipment are finding the best success within a certain numerical range. So we have made up or machined sets of individual pins to very specific sizing. So for example, this one is one hundredth of an inch or for those of you in metric, 2.54 millimeters. The way to measure is always at the center line of the key. So in other words, you don't want to measure at the smallest end or the biggest, but you want to measure at the center. So in this case, because we have easy access, we would do this. And we simply will put the gauge pin in, which is 100, and we see it's fully depressed. So this one is where we want it. Now one of the simple tests for venting is when you're working with the player or when you're testing it on your own, you want to make sure that the instrument is producing notes that are clear and resonant and relatively in tune. So if you have a tuner, and I usually suggest that you start with it at A441, you test the note and it should basically be able to be very close to the center line. There are certain notes that are a little sharper or flatter you get with experience. One of the things you can do is you should be able to ask any manufacturer you work with for a venting chart. And those are typically the charts that as makers we've determined are essentially our starting point. So if you're unsure what your beginning should be, talk to the company that you do business with. And I know in our case, we're happy to provide any technician that information on how to check or adjust the individual venting. But if the note's stuffy, typically the keys need to be higher. If the note's overly bright or quite sharp, typically lowering the key is an option. Good luck.